This is something that's extremely important that science has just started to talk about it and really be open to, but chronic inflammatory response syndrome. It started to get talked about more during the pandemic and the viral-based post-inflammatory syndrome issues that people refer to as long COVID. But what it is, is it's an inflammation response to the body that at least 22% of the population is prone to. So when you look at that, what does it mean? Well, it means about a quarter of the population is prone to this. And I think that matters because when you're walking around every one out of four people is susceptible to this. I'll raise my hand because I'm one of those individuals. And so I just have to be more careful with managing inflammation in my body. I need to work at it. I need to take my nutritional supplements. I can't overdo my exercise when I get a virus. Like I have to be a little bit more cautious. Why? It's not because I'm not healthy, but part of my genes say, if there's inflammation around, you're going to catch it. And again, I'm being kind of tongue in cheek there, but you're going to have a greater response. But the nice thing is everyone's able to overcome it because your genetics are not your destiny. If they were, I would still have autoimmune issues. I'd still have type 2 diabetes, but I don't. Not only am I better now than I was in my 30s, I'm better now than I was in my 20s and my teens.